this is our new puppy Gambit. We are X-Men fans, so that's what we named him after. Huh, buddy? <laughs> trying to get him. He's following me. Hey, come here. Come Guys, it's Kim so I know that this video is long overdue um, we have been pretty busy with our new puppy and he takes up a lot of my time <laughs> and otherwise I just kind of been I guess kind of dreading this video so maybe subconsciously just putting it off I don't know, but um, as you can see by the title, we have come to the end of our trying to conceive journey. I wish that I could come up on here and tell you guys that the second IUI worked and we got our BFP and we're done trying to conceive because I'm starting my pregnancy, but unfortunately that's not how things happened. Um, my period started the day it was supposed to, and, you know, we've talked about, we've always talked about trying two IUIs. We have tried on our own for a long time, and we've tried vitamins and different things, and had some tests done, and we decided, you know, we're going to go ahead and try IUIs. And that's what we did. We didn't... We never planned to go further than that with IVF. And if you see my last video, the lady was telling me that because of the semen sample and the quality that it's, that it's poor, that they would want to do more aggressive treatments. And for us, that means IVF possibly with ICSI because there's not much else that we can do. The problem's not on my side, it's on my husband's side. So it's not like I can have an IUI and do injectables or try stronger medications for my eggs or anything. I'm not having a problem, you know, getting two to three eggs and ovulating. The problem's on my husband's side. And I wish that there was more they could do for male factor infertility. There's really not much that they can do. They tell you, oh, well, you know, try taking these vitamins or do this, do that on your own. There's not really like some medication they can give a man to have better motility, better morphology, higher count. There's not a whole lot they can do on that side. They have to jump right to IVF with usually ICSI, which is just putting the sperm right in the egg and fertilizing it. So hopefully in the future they come up with more they can do for male factor infertility. I feel like there's so much they can do for the woman side. If the if the fertility infertility problems are on a woman's side, there's so many medications and different protocols they can try. But on a man's side, it's just, oh here, take some vitamins. See if it helps. Um, so, um, me and my husband kind of had a long talk, and like I said, we've just came to the conclusion that our journey is over, that we tried everything we could try, um, and maybe it just wasn't meant to be. told myself I wasn't gonna wasn't gonna cry during this video I've already cried enough so um we are so blessed with a child with our first child and I know that there is a lot of debate on you know regular infertility and secondary infertility and a lot of the girls that are going through infertility for trying for their first child look down on p 
people who are going through secondary infertility, and I've come a across a lot of posts lately in forums where it's just like, you know, you can't complain, you can't, you don't have anything to complain about, you have a child. You know, I'm trying for my first child and I'm having a hard time, and you have a child, so basically just shut up and stop complaining. And I don't think that's really fair. I, the, I think that the two situations are completely different. I have seen you guys on here just struggle with infertility, going through their fertility treatments, IVF, everything, just trying to get your first child, and my heart always goes out to you guys. I don't compare it. I cannot imagine going through this, going through all this, just trying for one child, just to, trying to have one child. So, I don't compare situations. Everybody feels pain, and the women that are going through secondary infertility, we share some of the same pain. I mean, we're we're having problems getting pregnant. We're going through fertility treatments. Um, you you can't be like you know. Well, oh, well, you have a child so just be happy I mean we, of course we're happy but this isn't anybody's dream you know I think that most women grow up thinking oh, I'm gonna have like two kids I mean some women might be like oh, I'm gonna have three I want to have four kids you know I don't hear of a lot of people saying well I'm just gonna have one kid or well we'll see if we can get pregnant and but we might have infertility issues and so it just might not happen or I'm just gonna have one child because I might have infertility secondary infertility and I might not be able to have more kids after that nobody plans this we're not I mean you don't even learn about any of this stuff all you learn in school is you have sex you don't use a condom or protection hey you're gonna get pregnant and that's not true I mean realistically it's not that true um so still have that same pain as in the dream that I dreamt of having two kids isn't going to happen it's I tried and, it, and I can't make myself be pregnant <laughs> right so it's a whole process of moving on and letting go of that dream if that makes sense and of course like I've said we're so happy to have the one child but I would have loved to give her a sibling I'm you know I'm sure that the day will come where we will have this talk and she will be like you know why why don't I have brothers and sisters and I'll have to tell her about all this and how we tried and it just didn't happen and at least that way she'll learn about infertility and struggles with trying to get pregnant and everything that comes along with it instead of you know just going through life not even knowing about it not even realizing it's this whole other world I don't know but anyways I needed to come on here. Um, I thank you guys so much for watching my videos and commenting, and I'm sorry that this video has been super late. Um, I don't know if I'll continue doing YouTube. Part of me thinks I might start doing videos on other topics, and of course I'm still watching all of your guys' videos. Don't think that, you know, this is the end of me. I'm still watching you guys and praying for you guys and cheering you on. And... I guess, you know, I just wanted to make sure I made this video for people who might be watching these videos a year or two, three from now, and I didn't want to leave it off as in what happened to her. Did, did she get pregnant? Did she not? What, what happened? Um, I know that there might still be a slim chance we can get pregnant on our own, but I'm not hopeful for that. I'm not getting my hopes up. Um... I can't even tell you how many times you hear the, oh, well, when you stop trying, that's when you're going to get pregnant. Well, we've tried that. <laughs> it didn't work. And knowing the test results for my husband, I know that the chances are super slim. So I just can't get my hopes up for that. 
I have to move on fully or I won't move on at all. You know, if I just have that lingering over me, like, well, maybe I'll get pregnant this month. It's, it's, I'll never be able to move on. So, um, that's that. And thank you guys for watching. And until next time, I'll see you later.